possible. It is going to be a fan. Buntai fan. So yeah, yeah, that's going to be Midnight SoCal. Um, but you know, locking the Buntai fan tag. Um, Palatina Shulk. Now, this is an interesting matchup because an excellent thing that Palatina does is call out people's jumps, rising neutral, rising full utilizing, you know, just about any option for long or short range. She is able to do so. Shulk is a character who relies on a lot of jumping inwards. Uh, so as soon as he, like, over commits and Palatina's close range, um, you know, Betty could be eating so much damage. Yeah, it's gonna be all to see on. It's kind of a, a word that you would normally hear around characters that use swords, Shulk being one of them. It's going to be on Ben to get the right spacing, but also to really e evaluate the core functions of the aerials as well. Because like you said, if you're caught in the middle of between you and Palutena when she's closer to you, that nair will definitely Ooh. stop you. A lot of Shulk's aerials have very, very slow startup compared to a lot of other characters in the game. Man, my man Ben, really looking like he's trying to get married with the way that he is committing. Uh, going through up smash at ledge, you know, going through like a lot of these really, really, you know, like, wow, like high risk, high reward options. But I have to say, he's just making a lot of them look so safe. Um, you know, the way that he's spacing and timing down it, I have to say, is like really genuinely quite impressive. Uh, again, it's like one of those like really slow started up moves um, that you don't see come into fruition quite often. But Ben is making excellent use of it. Yeah. All right, back air on the cross up here. Buntai fan on the landing, trying to stop. Yep, if you have that ledge and you have high percent, you will lose ledge and a lot faster. So good for Buntai fan to recognize that. Down throw, no raw back air. I like that play because it's no longer true and immediately goes for an air, forcing Ben to be right back at the ledge again. Slowly enough, actually, you know, like down, down throw back air um, is still like true on like very specific windows on certain members of the cast, but on okay, some, okay. it could just even be like a series of like frame perfect inputs. Uh, that you can't even buffer. So, uh, to some extent, you know, it, it is, uh, and it is, right? It's just that much more difficult to be able to execute. That is a shulk with smash arts. Uh, Buntai fan, unfortunately, gonna be actually misspacing the explosive flame. I believe they wanted to go through the soft spaced one using the tilt, uh, but only got the hard input. Uh, unfortunately. Right now, Ben doing an excellent job of keeping Palutena cornered. This is exactly what you have to be doing. Uh, baited the uh, option on his shield and continues this onslaught, just putting on this damage that is completely unanswered. Yeah, 61% on Bunte Fan. Ben with a really good lead. Like I said, it's going to be up on Ben to continuously have a really good understanding of spacing around Palutena. If he's a little bit too close, he will be called out for those aerials. Uh, one thing that should can have some hard time, you know, is landing. So unfortunately, Ben will get hit by the nair. But Ben still has an excellent lead, having the jump art here. And unfortunately, that's going to be offline. Yeah, good use of the air. You, you good use of just regular air dodge because you have less cooldown on regular air dodge as opposed to directional air dodge. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but right now, Buntai kind of just looking to be able to get something started with those guys in neutralers. Not able to find anything quite yet. Mm -hmm. And Ben, wow, that four leader was early. Palutena is light, and that's Smashville, but hmm. It was yeah. definitely something to be said about that. It could be the eye, but it could also just kind of be Shulk doing Shulk things. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like the drift back forward air was really good because it was also able to just call out Buntai Fan for trying to go for a landing off the ledge. So that was still a really good play, but unfortunately for Ben, things will be tied up here. 70% only separating the two. Down throw, that is going to be the forward air. I like that change up, trying to go for an air and carry off Shulk, but I do understand that Ben has activated Shield Dark to get away from a lot of those things. Yeah, you just have to sort of be able to modify and adjust accordingly. You know, a lot of characters, they still have very specific combos on Shulk um, when he does have Shield Art out and active. Um, so it's just up to you to be able to have that matchup awareness in that situation, setting up the tech chase, not able to find it quite yet. Um, Buntai fan able to reset the situation. Um, you know, they're really spacing the neutral in a really safe way, not committing to it too much by constantly retreating. And honestly, Shulk does lack the boost in some ways to be able to punish it. Yeah. Oh, but I found with a lot of threats here with the down to understanding Ben has to grab the ledge, but also losing ledge invincibility. Honestly, Buntai Fan is not making some too much overcommitment and is looking to just hold the stage, as Buntai Fan should, because it's Shoko's going to be offstage with Buster Art taking more damage. And in the middle of trying to get that perfect spacing to pun probably punish Shulk, he will get hit by the last hit of Uppy. For sure. And wow, really good auto medical just to sort of force Shulk offstage again, but. Listen, this is his time to shine. He's able to do so much here in the corner. This is his strongest part of the play, but actually not able to find it at all. Uh, Buntai fan almost taking out the dash attack, but Baku is going to be able to do it. 
What a play, too. Back there for, for those of you wondering, still having a really, I think it's intangibility for Palutena. So if in that opportunity, Ben was going to try to go for an aerial, the back will with the intangibility, will be able to go through it and also punish Ben. Honestly, I feel Ben did a really good job adjusting to what is a pretty rough matchup for Shulk at times. Still able to get some spacing here and there, but also being able to survive as well. Yeah, for sure. I feel like this is a really close game between these two players. Um, and really the biggest thing is like Shulk just needs to be able to keep Palutena locked in that corner, right? Um, just really take advantage of that forwarder. Um, you know, just make it really difficult for her to get back onto center stage because, wow, she does an excellent job of catching a lot of his jumps, catching a lot of Shulk's approaches. Uh, and we're actually going to be seeing the switch to... Sure, we'll be seeing the switch to Donkey Kong. I, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I, but... I really don't know why. Listen, uh, sometimes we do things for comfort, sometimes we do things because we hate ourselves. Uh, there's definitely an element of masochism that goes into playing Donkey Kong, because wow, that character can be a... Uh, character can, can have some rough times, for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's uh, definitely not an easy life to be able to, uh, to but Buntai fan, you know, Donkey Kong just naturally is able to jump in so well. He has so many like safe landing tools and quicker buttons than you actually anticipate that, uh, him having. But Ben, getting that edge guard, Donkey Kong, so vulnerable doing all of that, you have to be able to exploit him off stage. That is where characters like him, you know, uh, you make or break him, you know? Uh, yeah. Gandalf, especially Dr. Mario, they feel like pretty competent, decent characters on stage. Soon as you throw them off, they're sitting ducks. They're huge, big old targets. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's just, it makes me question even more the DK pick trying to use immediately the side B to punish Ben. It's a really good too, it's got a lot of shield damage, but at this point, Ben isn't going anywhere but looking to put him off the stage and then Smash Art activated, gets the recovery read, not quite so, but I do like that he understands that he's forced the out of shield play and he gets the forwarder off the stage, leaving yeah, Bullseye Fan. Almost making that back, just a couple of pixels away and again. Uh, listen, uh, this, this pick, uh, not amazing right now because wow, Bun Tai Fan is just being exploited off stage so so often. They're not able to get anything started with these back kills. Ben is doing an excellent job of keeping them away, trying to get the down B into the up smash. Not able to find it quite yet. Uh, but that up B will not be killing either. Wow, Shield is just coming in so clutch and what a reversal. This could be big. Beautiful use of the neutral life for option coverage. Um, and and I have to say Ben has all the momentum that they want, but down B into up hill. Sick uh, sick confirm. Yeah. Uh, that's one of those things you have to really respect against DK too, as we've come to know in this Wi-Fi saga. You gotta really respect down B. It can confirm into a couple moves, and if you're not ready, like wow. you're not ready for that forward air, you may lose a stock, and it's gonna be Ben pretty much picking things back around between him and Buntai Fan. Yeah, for sure. Um, damn, why, why, why does Shulk's model look like that? I, I, I'm just looking <laughs> at his face right now, and it's like, wow. Uh, he just looks a little bit disproportionate. He looks a little bit smooth. Um, but yeah, going into the next game, uh, yeah, for sure, I think it's kind of universally agreed upon that this Donkey Kong switch was, uh, quite questionable. So once you do switch off, actually, after, uh, after playing, after winning a set, a game, and then you switch off, and then you end up losing, you gotta be playing with, like, a chip on your shoulder, you know, because you definitely have something to prove. Yeah. Something to prove indeed, but uh, I don't know if Ben probably slipped in on Buntai Fan an extra twenty dollars. Like, hey man, look, help me out here. Let me at least put one on the board and go DK or whatever it was. But definitely stick it to the Palutena was a much better call between between what it was the last game and now. So I'm pretty sure I'm hoping Buntai Fan will go back to the Palutena. I see zero reasons to stay DK. Honestly, it's a it's a matchup that Shulk as a character just eats for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you're going to want to continue on to the winner side of this bracket, you got to bring your A game and your best characters. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, but sometimes, you know, sometimes we're just trying to game, man. You know, sometimes we're just trying to have a good time. Sometimes we're just trying to play the characters that we're really passionate about or the ones that we just try to goof off with. Uh, so going into the next game, we're actually going to be seeing Battlefield coming up uh, rather than, you know, uh, Smash Bros. as we saw in games prior. You know, this is definitely a stage that, like, once again, really, really good for Palutena. Um, but, you know, Ben can definitely exploit a lot of landings here. But, you know, once you're on Battlefield, huge opening for things like teleport cancels to be able to mix up movement. Yeah. All right, down throw. This time it's going to be the raw back air. Usually we'll see Palutena's go for that a little bit earlier percents. Uh, 
like you said, Duramgar, that's the one thing that you can Palutena can also use at later percents, and it's, it's a different tighter framing on a lot of other characters. But I still like the fact that at this point, Buntai fan not not playing any games, looking to get the W, and he's got 61 on Ben with 30 on him. Oh, right there, Bangtai fan got the overcommitting set dash curve, not really covering the space that Ben was occupying in that moment. Once again, I'm going to be going for it. Looking like a bit of a habit at this point. I'm uh, just going to have to like slowly try to clean that up because uh, they could really start taking big damage for that dash attack. Just leave somebody so vulnerable. Um, right now, trying to space some back hills. Really like the way that they're just not being committal with it. It is such a safe move. Um, you like There's so little that a lot of characters can do about that. Yeah. And Shulk having platforms here on Battlefield is really good because you can use the up tilt to actually punish Palutena on the landing. Up tilt's really got some range, so you also got to respect that when you're trying to land as well. shulk has got a plethora of moves to stop characters on landing, but also stop characters in air. So far, Ben taking the ledge for control. No downer. That's a good tool there because he's also able to hit Palutena. Finds it down to a back here, but of course, Ben are going to be switching to the shield out. Really good just, you know, again, like they just have like a really good head on their shoulders in those situations. They're able to just to escape a lot of kills a lot easier uh, and be able to pile on damage you even get, you know, the stock crew themselves at that point. But going to be landing right into that explosive flame. Able to take it. Uh, sitting at 123%. That dash attack, uh, it, yeah, more than enough to be able to do the job. <laughs> yeah, and it quick switch the shield out from Ben, avoiding any more unnecessary damage that Ben does not want to take. Uh, but the Nair will definitely get the corner carry all the way across to the other side of the ledge. Ben forced to pick an option. I like that. Goes for forward. A little bit aggressive here, but still able to land some the stage. Yeah, for sure. Um, wow, able to catch that up B. Palutena actually not going to be sent into tumble, uh, you know, and, and, you know, just is able to immediately run and, you know, try that situation one more time. Um, ben is just really swinging, able to get the falling up B. That move has so much frame advantage. Definitely could have been, like, a bit of a bigger punish, but, you know, it still was able to get a follow-up off of it. Um, just like that, Ben has basically even it back up. Wow, that lead, that positioning was excellent. Uh, they were so confident in the high recovery. They covered that space preemptively and they got it. Uh, the next time that they go through that though, that'll definitely take the stock. Yeah, down tilt, no follow up there. Usually down tilt will go for probably four at some percent. I believe it's a little bit closer to like, I want to say 80, 90, and that's more of a read for your, you getting your opponent off stage. Nonetheless, a Ben will still be able to try to recover. 116. Buntai found with back airs. Excellent use of dash attack to sense that Ben is trying to get away. Ben on the landing. Buster Art. It's going to reduce the knockback, but still able to get Palutena at the ledge. Up air. Yep. And that'll do it. That's a good call because at that point, Ben was just looking to try to punish Palutena in the air. And if Palutena's in the air first, Ben might lose. This is such a scary yeah. position to be in. You know, Shulk with Smash Hooks is a menace. Not able to find any out of shield punishes. Oh. That nail. Wow. Wow. If your all coverage option is able to still kill like that from the back hit. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I don't, I don't have any words about that. That. Hmm. Man, wh whoever sat down and decided to code uh, Smash Out, I hope they're having a good day. I hope they're able to, to work out their inner demons, because wow, they were projecting when they coded that move. Oh, most definitely. Some unpaid intern designed, definitely coded this move, for sure. Well, Smash R has been activated. Ben pretty much seeing red percent on Palutena, looking to immediately take care of that. But I do like the use of Jump Art, trying to find a landing. This does make Shulk a really good lightweight to get off the stage. Nonetheless, Ben gets the landing here with the get-up attack. In to the speed art. Oh, and there it is. That's going to be the funny blue color just sort of helping out Chulk get from A to B really, really quickly, uh, making himself so untouchable. Oh, um, and Backslash no. actually hitting from behind. That was such an excellent choice to go for in that moment. From that position, Palutena is obviously going to be looking for back here. Uh, and you know what, just as the name suggests, has who back facing the opponent. Uh, and, and as a result, Chulk was able to get the extra damage and knockback. Get the